The angels are inviting you to use the power of your creative imagination to expand your horizons and picture the life you want. I am so goosebumpy. Twin Flames, this is a very special message for you. When you hold a vision, the angels see the clarity of your intention. That is the star card, guys. And open doors to help you. The angel wisdom guides you to decide your desired outcomes. Be certain that you have the purest intentions. Then imagine your dreams and start the process of creation. Affirmation. I picture positive outcomes for the highest good. Wow, can you see this? I know, uh, um, but I'm very goosebumpy and I wanna cry because I really feel that this is a very important message for you. Hello, beautiful souls. Hello, twin flames, soulmates. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet with me, Chris. And welcome if you are new to the channel. Today, I was drawn to putting down your beautiful angel wings. Let's see how these play into the reading today. This is your timeless channeled tarot, love tarot. Timeless channeled love messages. Love messages. Timeless channeled song messages and timeless channeled love oracle reading. Now, I want to say to you, this is a general reading. However, it can feel like a private reading at times. If not, there's definitely messages for you throughout the reading. They can come at particular times in particular decks. Today we are beginning with Radiant Wise Spirit Tarot cards as well as Enchanted Map Oracle, oracle cards. <laughs> what was that? And as always, the Tarot Closet channeled love messages and channeled song messages. However, what you see is not what you get. I do have quite a few decks surrounding me. Tarot, Oracle, love messages, song messages, angel cards today too. I was really drawn today to your angel wings as well as my angel cards, which I have not had in a reading in quite some time. So these will come down if I'm feeling inspired. I also have my angel reading cards in German nearby, which I will translate for you. But let's see where things go, guys. Um, we're not shuffled yet, so I like to do that on camera and just mention a few things as I do. Again, this is a timeless reading. If you are, excuse me, arriving here when I upload a week later, a month, years. It's all the same. It's meant for you when you receive, when you get here is when you receive the messages. Excuse me. This is attached to Twin Flame. I'm going to put this in the middle here because it seems like my camera is getting blurry. This is attached to Twin Flame, a Twin Flame readings playlist. So if you would like to watch more timeless Twin Flame readings, you should be seeing those below. I also have P.E.K.K.A. cards, which I've begun recently, that is growing by the week. And as always, all zodiac signs are listed in the playlist as well, if you would like to watch for your sun, moon rising, or Venus, as well as your persons to get a better overall view of what is going on. Just one minute here. Now, just giving the camera a focal point. <laughs> <laughs> so that I can shuffle without it going nuts on me and that I don't damage the angel wings. Okay, um, just a couple of more things, or one more thing actually, and it's really the most important thing to me, is please remember this is not a prediction. You do have free will, so does your person, so does everybody. Energies, outcomes, can, will, and do change. This is yours, and it can change very rapidly. Please do not make any life-changing decisions based on a reading, guys. Very important to me. <laughs> Look. Okay, well, Cancer and Energy, Four of Cups. Just wanted to be here right in the partnership placement. Oh, guys. Okay, we got to get into this, don't we? That is the last, um, the last cut deck. 
Just remember, please, to use your free will when watching and or listening to your reading today, however you prefer. Trust yourself. Tap into those, that intuition, excuse me, and trust your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels. Guys, we're going to begin, well, we're, we've already begun. We're going to continue with overall energy. Thank you, this is coming off, okay? <laughs> Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please guide our twin flames, soulmates, and anyone here today seeking guidance? We welcome your guidance and we thank you. Overall energy card. Okay, there we go. Gosh, you guys, the five of pentacles, Taurus energy. Yeah, you are really missing your person. Gosh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and turn these over. I don't normally do that so soon. Well, actually, I kind of just do a lot of different things. I go where I'm guided. We have the Two of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Okay, guys, I feel like already this energy coming through here. Look at this. Twin Flames, the Ten of Swords. I feel this energy already that this is a reading, um, in particular, a particular reading for those of you that are really in, in separation. Well, we're all in separation, aren't we? I am a Twin Flame, by the way. However, you're really suffering, guys. Wow. It does look like you're coming out of that, with that five of pentacles. Yeah, you are suffering here. This is the two of cups, as you can see, more cancerian energy. You know, and cancerans are notoriously, of course, emotional, ruled by the moon, also empathic and intuitive, quite sensitive. This is really... The tone for your reading, I'm surprised it wasn't your overall energy. I want to tell you something, Twin Flames. If you watch my, my readings regularly, and if you don't, I'll tell you. This area here over time has evolved into what I call lovingly the naughty corner. And this is an area where your person's energy can be if they are breadcrumbing, if they are ghosting, if they are not being honest, if it's part in particular in this twin flame soulmate reading, somebody is um, running. However, what I want to say is beautiful cards as well. It's not always cards that, well, it's not that they're not beautiful, but it's not always that energy that's really obvious. Sometimes it's exactly this. It's the two of cups, but this is about your partnership. And we also see here your person with their foot going back here. So that does tell me that your person is running at the moment. And it's you're in a stage right now that's really, really hurting you. I want to tell you from what we can see already, Twin Flames, Twin Flames, you are leaving here. You're leaving that behind. Five is a number of change. Those are pentacles. That is about you and your person. It's. I feel you coming out of this energy. This. A lot of you are in coming out of the dark night of the soul, just really suffering without your person. That Ten of Swords, it's very clear here. Your reading was clear long before this, but Gemini energy here, it's very painful. And it's directly related and it's very emotional too, guys. Here with the Two of Pentacles, I believe part of why we are seeing here this apathy, it does look like your person could be contacting you or may have contacted you, but I feel like you're pulling away. It's like you're switching. Um, well, you're switching to the runner, I feel like, and that's not for lack of love. It's for self-protection here i feel in this two of pentacles that you have most of you here in this particular reading may have decided you can't cut a cord with a twin flame cord we know that but i feel to move on from a stage and you know when you don't decide the universe will decide for you that's 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 how it works and that's the two of you. Look at that. It's very emotional. You see one of the ships here. It's riding a really big wave. You're both still there. I do feel that you are on the ship that's a little further now. Really needing in need of some self-care if you aren't already in that energy. Now the swords are transactional energy. Also 
clarity and I do believe that is what you're getting here guys part of the reason is the end it's the end of this cycle here of the bottom guys of not sleeping and walking out of this five of pentacles here with no no shoes on somebody's kind of behind you and what's interesting is they have crutches which can cause somebody to maybe be a little bit slower um and the interesting thing here is I feel that's you and your person. In some ways, you are still in this connection. It's not over, but you're needing to move a little bit faster and ahead here, guys, and work on your ascension is what I want to tell you. It's imperative, actually, because this position that you're in now, it's time for you to come out of that. It's really time. We see here in this Four of Cups, it's really emotional. And the apathy here is very strong. We're going to see what's continuing to come in here. Twin flames and soulmates. But it looks like your person might, might come out of nowhere. But I have to tell you, the energy, that the collective energy has been intense. That your person has been popping in and out already. They have been checking up possibly sending messages by accident, clicking something like or unsending something. You can usually see that. Maybe even for those of you that are in contact with other people, friends and family, they're gleaming information or you're hearing something. Either way, it doesn't feel yet like it's a very big, a big move. Although I have to say to you, um, collectively, the energy has been a lot of unearthing right now and moving forward toward you. I feel what's going on here is they're feeling your energy as well of moving back. And also, when you are in a particular energy, it's mirrored, guys, and it, it is sent. You're feeling when, when something's going on in your twin flame's life. Have you noticed that? You can feel it. When something is going on in your life, they can feel it. It might just kind of sync with synchronicity might just appear. You might know that you're receiving telepathic messages. Maybe you don't know, but you get these feelings. You get your gut feelings. That's all part of the, the energetic connection, guys. Okay, um, do you see this? This is sticking out here, so this needs to come out. And oh, are these coming out too? Yes. Twin flames, look what just happened with your reading. <laughs> Okay, well, they were just in the middle here, and that was how it was. They were poking out and wanted to come out. Let's see what it is. Let's see what's going on. The King of Pentacles, this was in your last reading, Twin Flames. It's right below here. Yeah, I want to remind you that there is no gender here in tarot. Of course, there's feminine and masculine energies, but no gender. The King of Pentacles, guys, the first thing I want to tell you is this is Virgo energy. Yes, your person is thinking a lot about you. This is the journey of love. Also holding on to that pentacle as well as the scepter. Now I want to tell you that is very powerful. And it's a, it's powerful. And it's not that I feel your person is necessarily powerful, although they might be in their life that does come through. I feel here that they, you have... I want to say giving them the power, but you have been chasing, but that's turning around now. And I see that. I think you've made that decision here to take care of yourself. And if you haven't, it's a really strong message. It's a really strong message for you now to focus on your ascension. One of the things I want to tell you, um, people often ask me that, well, how can I do that? You just move on. You just do your thing, guys. Um, the connection cannot be severed and cut. What will be will be. Divine timing will play a part if you're going to come together, whether it's the first time or again in this particular lifetime. That will play out in divine timing. And what you can do, this sounds silly when I say nothing, <laughs> But nothing, don't chase, is what I want to say here. Focus on your ascension. Focus on the things that you want to do. As I say that, look. Whoa. Yeah, that's very goosebumpy. The star card, guys, Aquarius energy. This is coming to an eight. This is an action number. And that is about accomplishing something. You know what else? It's lucky. 
And there's a lot of Gaia energy around the eight, the healing. This is exactly what I'm talking about. And here with the sun, you know, you, <laughs> this, this may sound silly, but some of you are definitely in the entertainment field, whether you're singers or artists, writers, whatever that is. I'm um, also lots of star seeds and light workers here, guys. It's very much part of the twin flame journey. It's time for you. Why are you a little apathetic here? Because it's time it, you're focusing. If you're not focusing on your ascension, quite literally, guys, then it's time. Of course, you're thinking about your person. Of course, your person is thinking about you and all the things here, these seven stars, all the stuff that happened in the past, assessing where things are now. And also that aspect of control is quite strong in the seven. Yes, this is a faded connection. Of course it is. Of course, this is a red thread of fate connection. Fate and destiny intersect with free will and choice. Control what you can. Let go of what you can't. Control what you can, twin flames. Soulmates, anyone here, let go of what you can't. If your person pops in here and there, if they don't, you cannot control that. And I feel the apathy. It's, it's sad. I don't like it either. However, it is time for you to focus on your ascension here. It's so loud and clear here, guys. The star card, I don't often have that meaning coming through of um, maybe being in the spotlight, that sort of thing. I'm feeling that for you. And maybe it's not the stage. And for some of you, it definitely is, definitely. But it can also be about going and doing something that you've been wanting to do. And many of you are starseeds, light workers, giving sensitive, connected, connected souls that want to give to the world. And that is part of your ascension, guys, your healing, healing yourself and giving. That is very strong in the, the star card. And if you are not doing that, this is a very direct message here. I see that it's quite difficult. You know, what's really interesting is I really, <laughs> this message that's coming through of kind of emptying out this emotional energy that you've been putting into your, your twin flame and pu putting, putting it back. I'm putting it, he, filling your cup. That's what I want to say. Filling your cup, filling your pond, guys. I'm being guided, connected, co-creating with spirit, with the divine, with the universe here, with the stars, having hope in that renewal for you. It is time to get moving on your ascension and what it is that you have been wanting to do, that you have put aside to do. Focusing on your ascension is what is going to get you to a position where, and I would almost say it's kind of like going from a dark night of the soul into the hermit card energy, where you're really on a spiritual path, guys. That's where you want to be in that Virgo energy. That is a number of completion. It doesn't mean you've completed your spiritual journey. And do we ever? No. But you go in there for your quest, for personal truth, for spiritual illumination. You go within for that clarity. And that is the message right here being sent to you. Now, we're going to do a little bit of clarifying in a moment. Let's see what's here. <laughs> Could be that we see the Six of Wands or the Eight of Wands that your person might come in. I feel this, this particular reading here is that it is just not happening right now. Your person is definitely in this reading for whoever you are, guys. Now, there are, there's a lot of collective energy that returns when I do my twin flame readings. However, some, sometimes and oftentimes, because energies change so quickly and everybody has free will, there's something else entirely different going on. It hasn't changed your connection, but this is for you, twin flame, that you're, I feel your person here. Most definitely we see your person here, but we also see that they're running and the mirroring and the triggering between each other is really breaking your heart. And it's time for you to get up here off of this ground. Excuse me. And the five of pentacles saying me, me too. <laughs> I don't love holding these up, but this is what it is. This ten of swords, guys, look at this. It is the end. 
you have your fingers crossed there? What's going on? Yeah, you don't even need to cross your fingers. Uncross them. Call out. Call out for help for the people that love you. You have love around you. You need to look at that and see it and tap into it. That three of cups energy, guys. Those soul contracts you have that also particularly for, I want to say for the wounded feminines here, tapping into that feminine energy around you and the wounded divines, guys. It's tapping into that, that divine energy around you, tapping into your emotions again filling your cup here guys big time getting those swords out and getting up and going ahead and taking a swim in that it's, it's emotional i see it oh my gosh is it emotional it's the divine that's the divine it's super emotional but you gotta get in there those clouds are dark but they're high above okay this is very much what's going on now with you or what you're coming out of. Some of you are already swimming here in it. Some of you have already reached the other side to get that perspective and you're looking also in that hangman energy. It's another energy for you. I want to tell you, not a terrible place to be to get in there and figure out what it is where, what it is that you want to do or what's stopping you or how to begin. Get some perspective. And that you know, bringing in the hangman. <laughs> the hangman has come into your reading, I want to tell you. And that is a three, and that is about growth. And three is also a number of communication. And I want to tell you, it's you. It's about you communicating with the divine and communicating with yourself and communicating with those around you, mostly for you. If you're not in there swimming or you're not on the other side already, getting that perspective, it's time for you to get them out and go. Yes, you mirror and trigger each other. That is the nature of twin flame readings. And yes, you've been triggered. Your wounds um, in particular, your ancestral trauma, your childhood wounds are really raw right now. I feel that. But part of what is going to help you work on those and ascend is by self-care and by taking care of yourself. Renewal and doing things that make you feel good. Being around people that make you feel good. Being around those that you love. And just... Yeah, guys, filling your own pond, <laughs> filling your own cup is what I wanted to say, but filling your own pond here, that one there, that one big bright star, that is infinite possibilities, that's potential and that's opportunity. And there's a lot of it out there for you. Your person is here. There's a lot of love. And it's interesting, your reading, you guys, because they're over here in the naughty corner and we see them backing away. But this is a twin flame energy, guys. This is a divide, divinely guided connection. We know that. This is the divine masculine and the divine feminine. This is twin flames. There is that home, guys, that person that you just feel that with. And very often times with the twin flame, one of the signs that you know is you just meet them and you just think, where do I, I know you or I've known you. It's, that is all part of it. And also the coming back together feeling at home, feeling it's your person. It's very emotional. It is a divinely guided connection, but this is also a symbol of healing. And we know you need to heal. We know you're healing coming out of the five of pentacles. We know you need to with the 10 of swords here. <laughs> and the king of cups is about it as well. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, super emotional. Look, that ship, go on and just go now, guys. Go and do nothing here in this connection right now. Just go and take care of you. Get into that king energy. Again, guys, masculine, feminine energy here in this reading. No gender here. You coming out of that ten of swords and look, going into the ten of cups, guys. Um, really, and definitely a lot of you. Well, excuse me, it got away from me. I always try to pay attention. Okay, of course. We've already covered that. I know that a lot of you are, are empathic and light workers and star seeds and, and quite sensitive here. But what I love too in, in this particular energy is it is right below the Ten of Swords, but it's still in the water. So this also tells me that there are people in your life too that you may not realize are there for you. And it can be you're calling on someone too. And in particular, this message has never come through for me, but it can be an older person, even an older um, an older man, 
but that's not going to be for everyone. And for some of you, that can be about the spirituality. But I want to tell you here, I love seeing that. I love seeing that, but leading the way um, out of those Ten of Swords, guys. Is your person emotional for you? Is your per does your per is your person there? Yes, we see that here. But what's coming through super strong is you and what needs to happen. The other thing I want to say to you, I'm going to put this down, guys. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, there is that that feeling that I had that your person might be popping in here. We see it. We'll talk about it in a moment. But that Five of Pentacles, again, that is the number of change. Five is also about conflict and instability. And we see you walking away from that. And these are the Pentacles. It's the partnership. Not feeling safe here, guys. Part of what is underneath that. What are the practicalities under the pentacles, under the commitment? It's the same being in the same place, being physically too. A lot of you are not even in the same state, possibly country. There's a lot of long distance energy here. But it's also about the divine timing is really everything here. Divine timing. And... It just feels for you now that your message today is to let go, let God go with the flow, or let God, let goddess, let the universe, whatever that is for you, guys. It's very, very strong. And what I want to say to you, too, um, when you come out of this here, you know, this is snow, and that can be very quiet and cold, and but it can also be very peaceful in a time of reflection and yes the, the snow covers a whole a lot of stuff and and most of us here in the northern hemisphere we're, we're thawing out we're coming into spring southern hemisphere it's the it's the opposite but the idea here of that snow it's blanketed over it's quite beautiful it can also be cold and lonely however it is covering something up so you come out of there and you go over there and you drop down <laughs> and you make a snow angel. And I mean this, if you are on the Southern Hemisphere um, and you're getting snow, you can quite literally make one. If not, I'm talking of course, figuratively here, going over there and making a snow angel, standing up and looking at it and receiving those messages. And of course, I'm talking about co-creation with the divine, with spirit and those downloads and what it is that you want to do, the messages that you really need to hear right now, including today, guys, including today. And a big message for you today is healing. There's a lot of healing going on with you. There's a lot of healing necessary. And there's a real big message to go with the flow, let go, let God, and take care of yourself here. Now, I'm going to get some clarification, but I want to talk a little bit about this Knight of Pentacles. Excuse me this Taurus energy. Now, there's a couple of things going on here. Yes, um, we saw that here in the Four of Cups. I do feel your person can be popping in and out, and they, they have been. And they have unearthed this, unearthed, excuse me, this pentacle a long time ago with you, in particular this winter. They have pulled it out. They have been trying to change things. It doesn't feel in this reading that somebody is necessarily very forthright here this is the two of cups however um so we do see that you can't unsee that this is about the two of you this is about the love between you and can it be that somebody is going to come with a message yeah it can guys we see it here we even see it in the four of cups i don't i don't think you're feeling it right now or you're feeling really sad is what it what i'm What's coming through here, and it's making me very sad. We can't, we see that, but what I want to tell you about your person coming is it does feel, as I said, like they've been popping in and out. And we see here they have one foot kind of backing away. So it, I do feel that there's some running and chasing going on now. As they say in Ireland, you vote with your feet. And hello, Ireland, if you are there. <laughs> and your person is voting with their feet now. And the other thing I want to tell you is, yeah, we can see somebody sitting on a horse. Can that be your person? Yes, it can. This is a brown horse. And in particular, that is telling us about the work, about some um, humility, apologetic energy. That's also part of the Knight of Pentacles. However, there's, there are, excuse me, a couple of things going on. We do see the mirroring and triggering here quite strong. There's, they're feeling a little defensive, still and running. 
Are they thinking about reunions? Yes. You see the little wreath there in their helmet? They've also adorned one on their horse, holding that pentacle, guys, that we talked about being unearthed. There it is. However, I just want to say to you, this harness is undone, which doesn't make this particularly safe if they're going to go off on a journey and an adventure. I do feel like it's not that it's a game at all, but that it might it might be what they're really wanting, but they can't. And I, I just and it can also be that they're going to come in and they're going to come out. There's going to be ghosting. And, and I think that's also in, indicative, excuse me, of what has already been happening. It's telling us that story that's been coming in and coming out, offering something, but kind of, you know, can they really even go anywhere? Um, is that go Are they going to fall off the horse there? This is not secure. Also telling me that they have not been careful with you and careful with your emotions and taking a little more. You see that here and you're, you're exhausted. And you're in that ten of swords, most of you. And if those of you, for those of you are, that are out of it, excuse me. Um, here, I feel your apathy too. Even if your person is poking in here, guys. And again, regardless, here, this is also about you doing the work in regard to the connection, the ascension that you need to do here, the healing that you need to do. Look at the face here. Is somebody dreaming of a reunion again? Not about. Um, not I'm not no gender, okay? Divine feminine, divine masculine energies here, of course. Not about gender, but it's clear that everybody here thinks about that. But I think that your your divine masculine now in this reading today, whoever is here resonating with this reading, this is for you. That there's some running going on and coming in and out, and it's really you're really. Yeah, very down, um, I want to say here. So this message is, I almost feel like, it sounds so silly to say, but I almost feel like it's an emergency message that I'm sending to particular twin flames here that need to hear this message. And if you're on a soulmate journey and you're feeling this, then this is for you too or anybody here. But it feels really particular that you need to get this message. I need to deliver this message to you to do nothing but focus on yourself and those around you and your ascension. It is really important. It's so important. And that's also what I wanted to tell you, that doing the work for yourself too is coming through quite strong in that Knight of Pentacles. Be your Knight of Pentacles, guys. Really fasten that harness, fill up your cup, <laughs> fill up your pond as it may be, guys. And go for what it is that you're wanting to go for because that is going to help you with your ascension and also surrounding yourself with those you love. Okay, I was going to um, get a little clarification on the Four of Cups to see if we would get the um, Four, excuse me, the Eight of Wands or the Six of Wands. Got the Knight of Pentacles, so I do feel that wishy-washiness of them coming in, coming out. Oh, sorry, I couldn't reply. That sort of thing here, it's, it's strong. I feel that. Um, and maybe there might have even have been a buildup here and then your person started to back away again. The love is here. The wish is there. The thinking is there. But I do feel a lot of fear in your person. We don't see the moon card here. I'm actually surprised. Maybe we will see it. But I feel it. And then again, I'm not really surprised because I don't need to see the cards that I'm feeling um, in order for them to be in your reading. They're in your reading. I'm feeling and hearing and seeing a lot of things that... I try to relate to you. I can't always relay them to you. Um, as I sat here to shuffle, I wanted to clarify. I don't always clarify cards, guys. I just don't. I never really feel like um, it just doesn't come through for me. I don't need to. I've just been wanting to lately, um, just to bring more insight into the reading. But this I want to know more about. And the Knight of Pentacles. And overall here, we're going to get the shuffle. If anything wants to come down in relation to this area to give us a little more insight, I would be most grateful. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Okay. Um, interesting. There's too many here, but this one was quite clear coming down. Whoa. That's the Ten of Cups, guys. Okay. Pisces energy. Yeah. You know what's coming in here for you right now? This is about your family support and love 
guys, this is for you really in particular. Is it the 10 of cups also the sort of, I want to say dream card for the partnership? Yeah. Here, is that what you're wanting? Yeah, we see that. We also see here in that king of pentacles here, guys, with your person, it's sort of like, yeah, they, they got on the horse here. It's not quite fastened. They got off of it again. Now they're sitting here in the throne as a king, still holding on to that pentacle. We still see all kinds of, of um, excuse me, reunion energy here. And reunion and union are two different things, by the way. Coming into union, being together, and a reunion are different. And reunion can be just talking again as well, or messaging, or getting a message and just being in each other's life here. They are thinking about that here, guys. And we see here that they're also thinking about union, but it's almost as if they came off of the horse and sat down and they're doing a lot of thinking, but they're still kind of running. There is the journey of love. That is, as you can see, the fortress in the background. All these grapes are my symbol of um, fertility, excuse me, and that's new beginnings and developing things to another level here and taking them to the Ten of Cups. It's coming over here, but it feels like here in this energy that your person is running. Now, again, can it be for some of you guys that your person is, I would love, I would love that for you. Um, guys, here in the star card, look, they've woken up. They have hope in this connection and they're dreaming about the Ten of Cups, which I do do believe that. But look, and here they are in the Two of Cups and they're coming to ask you to marry them. And this is going to be everything. It's the king. They've, you know, they got off here on the night and the king and they're going to they're going to get up here and they're going to propose. Maybe it is here. But I have to tell you, it is just not the stronger energy. The energy that I'm feeling here is you needing to, yeah, some of you have, have made that choice already. And it's not that you're, it doesn't mean that you don't love your person, guys, but it's really important that you live your life and do the things that you want to do, that you're supposed to do. Work on your healing. Work on your childhood traumas, your ancestral traumas, your childhood wounds, the things that are mirroring and triggering you guys that is why it happens in the twin flame journey it triggers us so we can heal it and healing is probably the key word here in your reading i do love this ten of cups and i also want to say it is the new cycle we saw that in of all things to be po pointing at at the same time <laughs> the ten of swords here guys but and it's very emotional i see that but for you we've talked a lot about it and it really is coming full circle here too that it's a lot about as well for you about your family and it can be some of you are about to take a holiday as well but this is also about your family and some of you have your own families and also families of origin or friends that are families you know it's not friend family is barely a big word it's different for everybody it's not the traditional in the traditional sense that we think of and as i talked about it here about calling upon them there it is here the ten of cups and the star card together it really is just let go and let god go with the flow fill your pond fill your cups get out of that sword energy guys be your knight of pentacles here <laughs> and with all that said um look there's one coming off here I, I don't know where it's going to go. We'll just put it here because I didn't clarify. I didn't give it. A, um, I didn't clarify it. With all that said, as I said early on, I do feel that your person um, may have poked in um, here and may still be. But I also feel like they've kind of been already doing that. So I don't think that's any big surprise. And yeah, it can be super big of coming in here on that Knight of Pentacles, coming out of the King and getting on the Knight and moving here, kind of in a rush um, here, wanting to have a reunion with you, maybe even take it to a union here, guys, with this Two of Cups and a proposal and get to that Ten of Cups. Yeah, but it really is just not the collective energy here. The energy here is that you are really, I feel like I just want to reach out and yeah, I just want to reach out and hug you and tell you that everything is going to be okay and that you're beautiful and perfect the way you are and to take care of yourself and do your thing. Do nothing here. Let let 
them run, guys. Focus on your ascension, okay? Overthinking it is going to put you there and you're not going to get your, your ascension done here. Get out of that Ten of Swords and jump in there. Come out here. <laughs> Pop up in the star card, guys. <laughs> okay, what came down here? The Seven of Pentacles. And there was no particular, as I said, clarifying going on here. Taurus energy. Yeah, guys, you've you've been really patient here and you've been working. You you've been working on yourself too. I see that here now. This just came down it wanted to be in the reading. So this is a particular message if you you have been and a lot of you have that you're on the right track here, guys. And you've also been working on healing within the partnership, healing what has gone on in it so that you can ascend. That 7 is a lot about assessing what has happened. Um, looking back at what has happened and assessing where you are now. And you know what else it's about? And look, that's a dove of love. First thing, when birds come into my reading, it is about making your heart lighter, co-creating with the divine, receiving messages here, guys, freeing yourself. And it's about twin flame ascension here. And that seven is also about control. And we're right back here with this red thread, this faded connection that you have with your person. Of course, it's a faded connection. Again, fate and destiny intersect with free will and choice. Control what you can. Let go of what you can't. Control what you can. Let go of what you can't. That is a very strong message. And the past is the past. And assessing where you are now, you can't control what they're doing, what their next move is. You can only control yourself. Okay, guys, um, let's get a little bit. Um, I want to know a little more about this Knight of Pentacles here because I feel your person. Okay, interesting. Three came. That is the most I will take. And this is generally, first of all, it's divine timing. This is my sign here. And I, I usually take this middle. This is telling me what is going on. <laughs> Yeah, this is what's going on. Twin flames, soulmates. It's the Four of Cups being echoed here. As I'm clarifying the Knight of Pentacles and this being the card that was going to tell me what is going on, this is it. This is it. You're not feeling so great about this right now. And yes, your person can be popping in and surprising you, can be coming out of nowhere here. They have been running. They have not been taking care of it. We see it also in the star card, by the way, that they have been taking more. We see that in the two of cups, not taking care in terms of emotional and an emotional balance, but also just wishy-washy playing with your feelings. I feel the kind of ghosting in and out here. Look at that. We see the four of cups. You're almost, oh my gosh, look, you, what's wrapped around here by the laurel wreath. It's making you bonkers. You need to back away. Live, um, let go, let go and let God. Let go and let goddess. Let go and let universe. Let go and let spirit. What is that for you? Guys, really go with the flow. It's super big. I see you all here. It's, I see you both here. Look, here you still are. Somebody's feeling, somebody has a full cup. Somebody doesn't. Um, guys, that emotional energy above you, it's, I feel like it's, I, and I, you see that, what it's doing to you. You see what that Laurel Reef, thinking about a reunion, thinking about your person, chasing your person, trying to kind of, um, it's doing that to you, but it's also almost like trying to lasso them in, I want to say. And that four is a lot about foundations and stability, and that's about you. I feel your apathy. Yes, they might be popping in here. Um, whatever. They're going to pop in. They're going to pop in. You take care of yourself. You do your own thing. Do nothing in that. Let that, let it be what it is. Take care of yourself. Heal yourself in ascension and, I, and things will go as planned. The divine has a plan here. Um, gosh, you guys, this is really very, very strong. This particular card too with these swans, with these two swans. And you know, what's interesting is I... <laughs> I had my two swans out today to get for the overall energy that I usually use, and I, I put them back. I, I don't know. I just didn't feel it. Um, and that's probably why, because this really bothers me, because I feel your pain here, and I also feel you trying 
really hard to get them. The hard work here that we also see, um, guys, in that Seven of Pentacles and the Knight of Pentacles, and yet they're not. You know, there's a lot less giving in that side. They're in, running at the moment. You got to do your thing. Look at that echoing, echoing in that reading. What is here? The King of Cups. There's another another echoing. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, some more Pisces energy. That is super healing energy, by the way. And the Cups, and it's the King. It's the the, the King of Cups and the Suit of Cups, you guys. It's so super emotional. Look at this heart here. It's. I feel like your person kind of. Yeah. I, I just, I feel they're running right now here, guys. It's very, very, very strong. And this is what I feel when I see, with this echoing here, getting getting it again, what is coming through too is, look, is you're, you're needing to heal from this, guys. That is what's coming through for me. Can it be your person here with love offering? Look, there's the entrance to the fortress. That is the journey of love. Look, there is a laurel wreath here. It could be for sure. We have the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups, the Star card. Yeah, we even have that popping in out of nowhere. Not so great, but what it is, Four of Cups being echoed here. So it really can be. But I also feel a lot of this is about what you're thinking. You're dreaming a lot about it. You're really in your head here and disappointed and kind of more here. This is what you might be showing to the rest of the world is the Four of Cups that was echoed. And that's right in your partnership placement. And that was the first card that flipped over. That really almost feels like it was your first card um, here. Although it was this, the Two of Pentacles and the placement, it was really the first card that we saw. Gosh, you guys. And the last card that came down here is the Five of Wands, and I still didn't get my answer to <laughs> the Knight of Pentacles, Leo energy, but we are now. And you know what's going on with the Five of Wands? Well, a couple of things here. Somebody was is kind of playing here a little bit, and I don't mean purposely trying to hurt you, Twin Flame, but like I said, there is this in and out energy. And when you see the Five of Wands, and it can be kind of about not just a challenge, but um, like when I say a sport, I, I don't, I mean, yeah, I mean a little bit of games, but it, it's this, it's that harness that's not undone and the horse is not moving. It's sort of like you've just, you've been holding on to this and waiting and waiting and waiting and dreaming and waiting and it's keeping you from your ascension. Of course, you're thinking about your person and waiting for that to happen here. And that blue snake, I want to tell you, that is fast energetic energy, but that's also a shedding of the skin here. And this is the five of wands. So I just feel like you're in need of that. Also with that five of pentacles, that's the number of change, that skin shedding, the healing, the evolution, the letting go, letting God, going with the flow, but that star card is really a particular message for you. And look, we see that twin flame soulmate energy here. We know that, guys. We see it. We don't even need to see the infinity symbol to know that. We already know, but we also know it's not balanced here. And that is part of the in infinity symbol. And it is coming in the five of wands. That is the energy of love. It's very fiery. So I do feel like your person might get all you know, might come in and then come out, come in and come out. And this is where it's left you. It's very strong here. It all leads to this connection. It's not that anybody's terrible at all. Of course not. It's a twin flame journey. It's it's about you just not running now, not chasing, excuse me, and taking care of yourself. Letting go, letting God, guys, going with the flow, calling upon those that you love, doing what you want. What do you want to do? Do you want to start something on YouTube? Do you want to sing? Do you want to write? Do you want to get a new job? Contact your family here. What is that that you want to do? Get fit? Whatever that is, you, you get on with your bad self, Twin Flames. Get on with your bad self. <laughs> okay, guys. Um, I want to get, with that said, I want to get an angel card now. And we might come back to it. I'm also going to get, um, I think I want to pull from this oracle deck as well. Imagination. Thoughts are the building bricks of life. 
for everything begins with a thought. Add creativity to thoughts and you have imagination. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to read around this uh, microphone here. Every castle starts as a castle in the air. This image is then grounded by architects and builders. The angels are inviting you to use the power of your creative imagination to expand your horizons and picture the life you want. I am so goosebumpy. Twin Flames, this is a very special message for you. When you hold a vision, the angels see the clarity of your intention. That is the star card, guys. And open doors to help you. The angel wisdom guides you to decide your desired outcomes. Be certain that you have the purest intentions. Then imagine your dreams and start the process of creation. Affirmation. I picture positive outcomes for the highest good. Wow. Can you see this? I know. Uh, um, but I'm very goosebumpy. And I want to cry because I really feel that this is a very important message for you. I, maybe this reading will not be for everyone, but it is for a very particular a particular group of people here with your ascension and what it is you want to do. As I talk about that, felt guided to pull this and this is what we got. Wow, you guys. Wow. If anybody wants to know um, what this said exactly, go ahead and send me an email or you can comment in the community tab because my comments are off and I will take a picture of it and um, send it to you. I think that's really important. Okay, guys. Wow. Whew. That was very emotional. I want to, we already know what the Ten of Swords is there, right next to this journey, what this Twin Flame journey is doing to you, your person running there, kind of being wishy-washy, we know that. This area, I just want to pull a card here. We'll get one over here, then we'll move on to Oracle cards. Yeah, look, and then it's the Eight of Swords. Oh my gosh, okay. Gemini energy, yeah. And you know why we're getting the Eight of Swords and, and not getting an echoing of the Ten? Because that's you keeping yourself there. That is eight, an action number. Accomplishing something, moving. Also, Gaia energy, very strong Gaia energy. Healing energy, nurturing, mothering energy, guys. Look, look at that. Take out a couple of swords, swim across, Take out a couple and then you're here. Look, eight of swords. You, you can get out of there, guys. Drop them and go right down this ladder. I love this. Really, I love this because I do feel that you know that. But you're, you're holding on to this stuff that will happen when it happens. When it's supposed to happen. You know, no chasing. <laughs> no chasing, you guys. But it's... It's very important that you get yourself out of this now and, and focus on yourself here. This reading is wow. And the swords are transactional as well. And they're about clarity. Your angels are going to help you with that. And we already know that. We felt that very strongly in the star card. And this is more confirmation. Get a move on. Twin flames. Soulmates. Whoever is here, get a move on. Really. Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to get... I'm, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to get a, um, a, bring a tarot card here for this overall area and see if there is some insight that wants to come in. It can be that it ends up being for the entire reading. It's going to be the last tarot card. Then we're going to move on to Oracle cards. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, and Ancestors. Okay. It is the Queen of Cups. <laughs> Gosh, guys, Pisces energy. You know what this is about? Healing energy, healing energy. Gosh, you guys, nurturing, healing energy and support. Just what we talked about with that eight, with that Gaia energy. Get out of that, get here in this 10 of cups, guys. Also Pisces energy. Excuse me, it got away from me again. Family, friends, friends that are family. I absolutely love this for you. More than I can even say here. Look in front of that fortress and even in front of the snow. Look at that. Walking away from that right now. You, you can walk away from that. It doesn't mean you're leaving the connection, guys. It's going nowhere. You can't cut a twin flame cord. You got to live your life here. 
That is the journey of love. There is the snow we talked about. That's you walking away, guys, healing. That's you walking toward healing. I love this for you. I'm very goosebumpy. This reading went somewhere I couldn't have imagined. Can somebody be coming? Yeah. Do I like to be able to tell you that when I feel it? Yes, of course. And, and it can be, but it's not as, that can definitely be, but the stronger message that I'm being guided to give you is for healing. Healing your childhood traumas, your ancestral wounds, your, your hurt here. And knowing that you can come out of that eight of swords, go down that ladder, that Gaia energy, and come into this queen of cups for healing. You can get call upon your friends and your family and healing supportive people, also king of cups energy, and swim through that and do the healing you need to do and get on the other side and get perspective. Maybe you get on the other side and you're in the hangman energy that and you're like, now what? That's all right. You're over there and you're getting a different perspective and you're, you're gaining the wisdom that you need to attain the goals that you want to attain. Guys, it's a big deal because that is the whole point. And I'm going to tell you a little secret. <laughs> it's not such a secret, but I am a twin flame. I know. I know. Okay, guys, we are going to get an enchanted map oracle card. Taurus energy. Look how it glows. Very high vibrational. Look at that. Wow. Attached to the crown chakra. Also very protective energy. Make sure you've got selenite around you. Even if it's one little piece of selenite, throw it in your bag, throw it in your, your suitcase, your briefcase, your purse, whatever, guys. Diaper bag, keep some selenite with you. Look how beautiful it is. Okay, we're gonna get an enchanted map oracle card. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Here we go. Wow, okay, <laughs> you guys. I can't with your reading. I have to tell you, this is a, first of all, this is a master number. It's really, you're being guided. It's also about, well, second chances. And I feel like this is for you also in particular about some goals. Set your intentions. Look at this. What are your wishes? I want to cry. Okay, <laughs> I'm trying to contain myself here. We just talked about crossing over in that from that Ten of Swords, guys, and swimming through that emotional energy, the divine, and getting to the other side and going into the hangman energy if you need you to get some perspective, gaining some wisdom. There it is. Gain that wisdom and make that wish. There is that dandelion, right? I've got them all over my backyard right now. I'm just letting the flowers go wild wild it's it's we live right at the forest and so it is just <laughs> crazy i need to go make some wishes when when i'm done with this reading look how beautiful for you you set your intention your reading is very emotional i'm just going to read this again okay so that you remember this this one part here these two parts when you hold a vision the angels see the clarity of your intention and open the doors to help you the angel wisdom guides you to decide your desired outcomes. Be certain that you have the purest intentions. Then imagine your dreams and start the process of creation. Guys, I picture positive outcomes for the highest good. Your reading is, wow, I love this for you. I don't love that your heart hurts. I don't love that how things how it feels I know how that feels but I love your reading for you you have a lot of strong guiding energy a lot of Gaia energy here as well a lot of energy from spirit guys a lot for you to let go let God go with the flow what a beautiful reading okay what do I want to get I feel like I want to get maybe bring in one more oracle card, guys, and then we're, we're, we're really going to move on to some love messages. What do I want to... I want to bring down angels and ancestors. Yeah, that's what I want to do. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Pun intended. <laughs> Here we go. Is that one? Yes, it's one. That was loud. Excuse me. Broken arrow. 
Embrace the energy of peace. I love this for you, guys. Who also look it's sort of like it's almost also like one of those windmills that you would see kind of spinning in the wind here and, and pointing to you, excuse me, for the directions to go. These are feathers. First of all, we know that you're being guided by angels, guys. And embrace the energy of peace because that you're coming out of that 10, guys, or you're already out of it, or that 8 here, and you're in the, the as I said, that hermit energy, I feel, and also the hangman energy. You're not in that you go in that for a little while if you need to, to get that perspective, that spiritual illumination so you can set your intentions. You can tap into this healing Gaia energy that's everywhere around around you too and people that you love and know and in particular around you and also spirit and your angels just surrounding you. I love this for you. And if you're not in this, you definitely will be. It's very strong, guys. Okay, I'm going to put this here. I hope you can still see it. Okay, yay. <laughs> it worked, doesn't always. Sometimes I'm making a big mess. Let me see. Okay. Oh, all right. Okay, guys, we're going to move on now to love channeled love messages. Direct messages to you from your person. If you feel you're sending them, you go with that, then that is how it's meant to come to you. Also, I want to tell you Rose Quartz here, Libra and Aries energy, quite strong. It is the energy, these, the universal stone of love, excuse me. It really promotes healing of the heart. Also, a lot about forgiveness too. And I think that that's really important for you because forgiveness is for you, for your heart to forgive so that you can also, in particular for you, Twin Flame, Soulmate, whoever is here today, to ascend and to go for what you want so you can set your intentions. On that note, when these types of readings come out, this just flipped in and then jumped up in my hand. I almost don't want to leave read love messages when these types of readings happen because I... I just really want to reach more for healing type of cards. So I'm going to go ahead and read these, but then I'm going to um, grab some affirmation cards for you, okay, to end the reading today. And we'll get some um, angel, well, we might not get angel messages, but we'll get some numbers and letters today. I feel like my chest will burst open. I think that this is you, guys. I really do. I trust that the universe will bring us together. Yeah, this, you know, for everything that's going on here, that is the twin flame journey, you guys. And, and, and the universe will in divine timing. And it's not always this lifetime. I really want you back in my life. Now, who is sending this? It's interesting because these are messages, love messages. But as I say, they can also be coming from you. However, guys, it's not for everyone, but it is here. We do see, again, the Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups here, the Star card, the Knight of Pentacles, even with that little harness there. I hope you still love me. Oh, I feel that. Are you sending that? I think you might be. Look, I'm putting it here with the echoing the Two Four of Cups. There's two here. Then we're going to, um, we're going to get, get right into channeled song messages today because I really want to get you some affirmation cards. I'm making a plan to come to you. Okay, well, if this is your person here, I have to say, I think they have been, I think that they are, guys, but I think they've been in and out in, in your life. And that is part of what's going on here. So, you know, Take this with a grain of salt, I have to say to you. But it, it can very much be. We saw that they might be popping in. And I do, I have to tell you, I do feel that they have been lately too. Just watching, guys. Watching and maybe liking and commenting on stuff here. Which also can be giving you this hope and this why there feels like there's this disappointment. Remember also, when you're watching your readings, please remember, they're not predictions. No matter how much... 
a reader or YouTube want to tell you that. It's not. Everybody has free will. It can be accurate and things can happen, of course, but it's not, um, it's not a prediction. You have free will. Your person has free will. Everyone has free will and energies and outcomes really do change on a dime, fast, minutes, hours, and everything can change. So energies that somebody's reading very well will be a current energy for somebody out there. And then that changes. Maybe it's for somebody else. It's, it's the nature of that's, it's life, it's fate, it's destiny. And yeah, intersecting with free will, you guys, changing the path. I am in you and you in me. Yeah, that's for sure. Okay, guys, what this got left behind, we're going to look at it. Channeled song messages, direct messages to you. Also, you can be sending them. And I want to tell you, it can be your song comes down. Uh, your song, your new persons. This was down here, so we will look at it. It can also be a song of relevance to you. And I want to tell you, it can also be that messages are coming in that I cannot decipher that you'll, you'll know, like inside stuff, a name, a location, a particular artist or song that I just won't even know. So you will know when that's for you. And as always, sentiments do come through, missing you, loving you. And, you know, just because your person is running here, guys, doesn't mean that they don't love you, of course. It's a twin flame journey. We see that in the two of cups. We know we didn't need to see that to know. We know it's just, don't get me wrong. I'm giving you, I'm, I'm reading for you the energies here and what is here. And there's just very strong messages for, for you today. But that does not mean that anybody is awful. That does not mean that, that there's no love. It, it, not, it's the opposite. There's a lot. But your person in this reading is in fear and running. And that is just how that is just how it is here in this reading today. But it's not, it's not that they they're that they don't love you. I just want to tell you that, okay? But spirit really wants you to set your intentions and heal and do your thing. Ascend, guys. Focus on your ascension. That's important in any way. When that happens too, it can be that you start doing that and then this does happen. The Two of Cups, the Ten of Cups here, this realization, this wake-up call, moving that foot forward instead of back here. And yeah, making a proposal, whether it's marriage or to get together, it can be. You know, it, like I said, it's divine timing and also when you let go and you focus on your ascension, that energy is transferred. When you're focusing hard on, on chasing, that they run harder. That's what I want to say. So it's for the, for the highest good, really. It's for the betterment of everyone for you to do your thing and not chase. I guess I'm lying to myself. It's just you and no one else. I miss you, the Rolling Stones. This, by the way, Opalite cancer libra energy and it really is about lightening emotional burdens oftentimes when i um feel drawn to pick it up it's um a person your person or a person whoa oh my gosh that was loud and i'm probably gonna have to edit that sound this is spirit and that was a total confirmation i can't keep that loudness in but yeah this is this is spirit guys the divine trying to lighten your emotional burdens here that has never happened. Okay, let's look at this one that had fallen down. I keep crying. I keep trying for you. There's nothing like you and I, baby. Sade, ordinary love. And there's two here, and then there's one here. Return to me, for my heart wants you only. Oh, gosh. Dean Martin, written by Carmen Lombardo. Oh, guys. Guys, where do I want to put this? You're simply the best, better than all the rest, better than anyone, anyone I ever met, the best, Tina Turner. That broken arrow, too. It's sort of like if you have to break those arrows, um, those swords, those ten swords, those ten of swords, those eight of swords, in order to get out of that, you do it to find that peace, you guys. Embrace the energy of peace. Yeah, that was a message for you. When you're lost and you're alone 
and you can't get back again. I will find you, darling, and bring you home. By your side, Sade. Sade's um, really strong in here, guys. This was coming off the bottom. Love of my life, love of my life, love of my life, Freddie Mercury. Yeah, this doesn't take away from any of that, any, any of that, guys. This is also yours. Then we're going to move on. Guys, I'm going to get you an affirmation card or two, and then we'll get you some numbers and letters, okay? I hope you don't mind that I put down in the world words how wonderful life is while you're in the world. Your song, Elton John, definitely a very strong connection to music here. And I do feel you've been hearing a lot of songs lately. Fly, 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 high against the sky. So high I almost touch the sky. Thank you. Thank you. Thank God for you. The Wind Beneath My Wings, Bette Midler. Written by Jeff Silber and Larry Henley. Yeah, you have been um, really helping your person. It's now time for you to fly and ascend. Guys, Take. it's time for you to take care of yourself here, okay? I know you love your person. Your person loves you too, but this is this is where it is here. I love when this card comes down. Okay, um, I, do I have a, looking to see if I have a, I do. Let's get a super attractor card. Thank you, spirit guides. Okay, these went flying and they're yours. And it's the most that I'll take. What's in that middle card? When I'm tuned into the energy of abundance, I become abundant. I love that because we, we talked all about that with your angel messages, with your intention card. My super attractor power comes from how I feel, my faith and love and the joy I put out. I love that for you. True manifesting is about receiving what is of the highest good for all. Intention. The star card, the manifestation, and the angel message. The affirmation down below. I picture positive outcomes for the highest good. Guys, this is so much about the things that you want to do, that you need to do. Not just healing, but doing the things you want to do. Really doing them, you know? Okay, and what else do I want to get for you? I'm going to get one more Soul Coaching Oracle. These were, <laughs> I wasn't planning to, these two here, I wasn't planning to put these down today, but this is where I feel called. Radiance, I am a radiant reflection of God's light. Sanctuary, I'm divinely guided. Gently and lovingly. I want to cry. Yeah, you are. You are being guided, guys. It's super strong here. I'm going to just um, reach into the totems and see. Let me grab an affirmation card to kind of use as... No, I actually don't want to use the table today. Just a minute. Okay, guys. Let's begin. Look, you have a key. You know what that is. That is opening, unlocking. What is that unlocking? Something in that star card, that intention card, and your beautiful angel guidance card. You hold that key. Look at that lighthouse with the heart of love, guys. I love this so much. Your reading is beautiful. You received, look, by the way, this was the numbers and letters bowl and there were totems in here. <laughs> Not supposed to be in there. So these are meant for you and there's one here that I can't wait to show you. This is a hot air balloon and it's very much like birds rising above making your heart lighter, lightening these emotional burdens, co-creating with the divine God, goddess. What is that for you? Receiving those messages and listening 
Twin Flame Ascension, freeing yourself up. Your reading is unbelievable. Because there you are, look, you're a unicorn. I want to cry because, yeah, I do these readings in YouTube just for something I do. It's not my main life, you know? And when readings are, when readings come this way, I just, um, yeah, I feel very humbled to be the vessel. We're going to put the letters and numbers, the letters down first, initials, locations, S, X, Q. Then I'm going to give you your numbers because there are some angel messages here. N. Nope, excuse me. There's another N. Oh, that's a Z, excuse me. There's an O, a D. Can be locations, names. There's another N, U, and Y. Okay, oh, and an L, <laughs> J, okay, gosh, you guys, and an H. Now, I'm going to show you your angel messages first because I really want to, um, oh, wait, let me show you this first. It's a bridge. I love that for you. It really is getting from one point to the next, you guys. There's two here. And I want to tell you a lot of times this can be about you and your person. I feel like right now, this is you co-creating with spirit. It's because it's been so strong in your reading, the connection, even the angel cards that I haven't pulled out in many, many months and what you got, the intention, it's wow. Okay, let's start with the numbers that aren't um, actual angel messages, can be anniversaries, birth dates, you got to see there, I got this right. Okay, then there's also an 8 and a 2. Now let's start with your messages. Look, this is a master number, these ones. It's about new beginnings. And you're definitely at that here, that end of that cycle, that 10. Also with that one star, really, that new, be new beginnings there as well. We know that, don't we? Three, and another three. Another master number. A couple of things here. Wow, anything is possible, and guidance, you're being guided. I, your reading is, wow, it's all very connected. Six, and six, out of balance. Yeah, we know that, but you're balancing out now, guys. Some of you are already there. A lot of you are not, but you will be, really. And this is your last totem, but it's not really a totem. It was in, also, it was, wasn't even supposed to be a totem pool. It was in the numbers and letters. Look, it's Penny. Penny from heaven, guys. Somebody's also a particular angel is looking out for you. And here they are today. Now, this is a British penny, so hello, England. There's no date on here, but this is a one. There we go again with that one, new beginnings. Lots of potential and opportunities here. Guys, I know you love your person. Your person loves you. Divine timing. Divine timing, remember that, okay? Don't chase. Ascend. Heal. Take care of yourself. Put your intention where and in what and where you want to grow. Where you put your intentions is where things will grow. Remember to trust yourself, tap into your intuition, and trust your gut instincts. Those are your guardian angels.